Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the oil filter pod solenoids and what they do. So if you ever work on a MP7, MP8, uh, MP10, same for the Volvos, D11, D13, I think D16 is the big one for the Volvo. If you ever look on your oil filter pod, if it's uh, newer, you'll have these. If it's trying to think of the year they split maybe around 2013 2012 I could be wrong but anything newer than that should have one of these the older stuff will be mechanical it won't have solenoids it'll be just springs with little valves and sides and it'll actually overcome with the oil pressure but uh yeah these ones here there's two solenoids on the filter pad and they're both 12 volts open up inside um, so this one here is the oil thermostat solenoid so this one opens up the oil passage when it reaches a certain temperature it's a smaller guy so this one here is when you're looking at the filter pad if it's like right here it'll be straight when you're looking right from the driver uh passenger side it'll be straight into it and then this guy here this one here is the oil piston cooling jet solenoid this one here is usually mounted like this from the bottom up on an mp7 here's a little trick on an mp7 if you're changing this it will not pass like it won't pass the come down. I don't know if guys actually take the filter pad off, but I sure as hell don't. What I do is there's, it touches the block and a tad of the oil pan there. And what we just do over here is we just grind a little bit away until the passes. It's not a big deal. I can already hear people saying, oh, you shouldn't be grinding the engine block. Yeah, you're barely taking anything off. That engine block is thick as hell. Don't worry about it. But on an MP8, it is actually on the newer ones anyway. I'm trying to think of the ones before, but I think the truck I'm working on is a 2013. It is actually set to the right rear, sorry, left rear. On an MP7, it's on the right, right front, if that makes sense. And then on an MP8, this one anyway, it's towards the back of the filter pad. So on the left, if you're looking up from the passenger side of the engine, and it's actually very easy to get to, especially if it's an automa uh, a standard. Automatic, it's got the coolant pipes in the way, but you can pry them away. That's what I did with this one. But uh, yeah, these things here, they do go bad once in a while. Usually you'll have a code on uh, Tech Tool J Pro, whatever you're using. It will say short to ground or open, or usually it's a short. I don't know if I really ever see an open, but it's possible. But uh, I'd probably change more of these because of uh, they leak oil out of the terminals over time. And that will actually cause the short too, to be honest. Nine times out of 10, if the code's up, they're already leaking oil. But if I'm in there, I'm doing something, like if they're already starting to leak, I just change them. They are really expensive. trying to remember if both of these were 700 or one is 700 we shall go check that right now actually just to give you guys a heads up there 711.58 for both yeah they're pretty expensive and uh i'm just gonna show you on the truck it's hard to see but i have most of this thing together so there's one all right that's your filter pad right there oil pressure sensor so that's your oil thermostat okay and looking at it from here that i know you can't see much on these freaking things with these automatics got all these pipes in the way and then the lower one so right now i got the filters off still you can see it right there behind the coolant pipe so that like i said it will actually touch the pipe so you just need a second guy with the pry bar that's what we did. Uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, 
fry, with the fry bar anyways are fast. I was gonna say on the MP7s, if I could try to show you what I mean over here, but I'm pretty sure these newer MP8s, the actual filter pipe is pushed back in a little bit different location. So I'd probably just make another video on that. And I don't wanna just say whatever and then it's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, it's better if I actually make a video on that just so you guys have that information. But yeah, that's uh, what you need to know about these guys. Like, pretty straightforward, honestly. Uh, way easier on an MP8 than MP7. Like I said, if it's standard, way easier. Automatic, you always have to deal with these transmission cooler pipes on the max, which I don't understand why they actually never went to like a hose and put the cooler in the front like a Kenworth or a Peterbilt. Like, I really don't understand. These transmission pipes like to ru rust it all the time. They cost thousands of dollars, but whatever. I'm not an engineer, right? I just change them. But yeah, I'm not going to go on and on about that. But that's what there is to know about these guys here. And uh, I will make another one on the MP7 once I have one in here. Thank you, guys.